स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ महिमा लहरिया फ्रॉम विजयनगर कॉलेज हॉस्पेट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज अंथेनाइट्स एंड एक्टेनाइट सो केमिस्ट्री ऑफ लेंथेनाइट्स एंड एक्टेनाइट्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी हियर एंड टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट अवर लेंथेनाइट सीरीज सो स्टूडेंट्स एज वी ऑल नो दैट अवर पीरियोडिक टेबल इज ब्रॉडली क्लासिफाइड इन टू फोर ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स दैट इज अवर एस पी डी एफ सो इन द एफ ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स वी आर डिवाइडिंग इट इन टू टू क्लासेज दैट इज अवर लेंथेनाइट सीरीज एंड एक्टेनाइट सीरीज नाउ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेंथेनाइट सीरीज लेट अस हैव अ क्विक लुक ऑन अवर पीरियोडिक टेबल दिस इज अवर मॉडर्न पीरियोडिक टेबल एंड स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डिवाइडेड इन टू अवर फोर ब्लॉक दैट इज अवर फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड दिस आर अवर एस ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स From here, thirteen group to eighteen, that is our P block elements. Then, this our you can see here in between from the third group to our twelfth group. These are our D block elements, and below this S P D, you can find a uh, two clear this rows. These are our these are the two series at the bottom of this periodic table. They are called as our four F and our five F series. As the electrons, last electron enters the four F and the five F subshells, these series are known as our combinedly known as our four F block elements. Four. So we can say that these there are the two series at the bottom of the periodic table. They are called as our four F series and five F series. The four F series starts from lanthanum to lutetium, means the fifteen elements from lanthanum to lutetium, and they are also termed as the rare earths elements. They are also known as the inner transition elements. Similarly, the five F series comprises from actinium to laurentium, and they are after the uranium, so they are also termed as our trans uranium elements. And the general electronic configuration we can write it as Uh, like we as we know that the atomic number of our xenon noble gas is 54 so we can write in a short we will always take our xenon in the beginning so because it's very hard to write the 54 electronic configuration again and again so just we will write our xenon 54 then 4f0 to 14 5d0 to 1 and 6s2 we will see the electronic configuration in the details also see the names of the lanthanide elements and sometimes in the examinations also they are asking the atomic number their names and the symbols so students you have to learn them very nicely because uh, this series names are not very much familiar as they are also the rare earth elements so we are not and so we are not uh, means we can say that from the 11th and 12th in bsc also aap bahut sare elements use karte na s block p block but d block elements bhi padhte hain but f block we are studying na not much so learn them very nicely now let us start from the beginning the atomic number 57 The element is lanthanum and the symbol is La. Next is our fifty-eight cerium. The symbol is Ce. Next is our atomic number fifty-nine praseodymium and the symbol is Pr. Next is our neodymium symbol Nd. Atomic number is sixty. Sixty-one is promethium Pm. Do, so don't confuse with the praseodymium. It is represented by Pr and it is our promethium. Next is our sixty-two samarium Sm, sixty-three europium U E U. Next is sixty-four gadolinium G D. Next is our terbium sixty-five T B. Next is dysprosmium. So the atomic number is sixty-six and it is symbol is our D Y. So you can see for dysprosmium it is our D Y sixty-six. Then holmium sixty-seven. And it is H O, erbium sixty eight, E R is the symbol. Thulium T M, and the atomic number is sixty nine. Seventy yet terbium Y B, and seventy one is of our lutetium, and the symbol is L U. So learn them very nicely. All these elements you can take the screenshot of this, so you will get the electronic configuration also, general electronic configuration as well as your oxidation states. so learn them by heart and write in your notes these are the elements lanthanum cerium praseodymium neodymium promethium samarium europium gadolinium terbium dysprosmium then holmium erbium thulium ytterbium and the lutetium before starting the electronic configuration let me clear you the terms 
when you are reading in some textbook what they are writing the, they will give you the general electronic configuration of the 4f series like this that is the xenon 4f0 to 14 5d0 to 1 and 6s2 students sometime when you will read na so they will give you penultimate shell nt and penultimate shell so what is the meaning of it so i hope you all know what is the n means it is the outermost shell and what is n minus 1 this is known as the pen ultimate shell and if it is n minus 2 it means anti pen ultimate shell so you can see here outermost shell in our 4f series is 6 means 6 is the highest principal quantum number so n will be with a 6 here so n minus 1 means what it will be your 5 so it is written as n minus 1 means 6 minus 1 is 5 similarly n is 6 so n minus 2 means it will be your 6 minus 2 it will be 4 so 4f 0 to 14 electrons then 5d 0 to 1 and 6s 2 so if anywhere it is written anti penultimate shell what is the meaning of it it is means outermost shell said uh, two cell inside means n minus 2 it is n minus penultimate is n minus 1 and n is the outermost shell itself so i hope when you will read any textbook you will get the clear this term so now let us start the electronic configuration let us talk about the electronic configuration of the lanthanides elements so students as we know that the atomic number of the lanthanum is 57 and we have to start writing the configuration for the 57 so what will be the easiest way we will take our xenon and then we will write the configuration so first let us see the general configuration once again general configuration of the lanthanide series is as xenon 4f0 to 14 5d0 to 1 and 6s2 it means that n minus 2f will have 0 to 14 electrons n minus 1d will have 0 or 1 electron and ns2 means our outermost shell is our sixth shell here so it will have two electrons then our d can have 0 to 1 and f can have 0 to 14 means it can be empty also and up to 14 it can be the full field so now once again this is our anti penultimate shell penultimate shell and outermost shell now let us start seeing the electronic configuration from the lanthanum so its atomic number is 57 so we know that the atomic number of xenon is 54 so we can write it as 4f0 5d1 6s2 here there is no electrons in the f sub shell but why we are keeping the lanthanum here because they show similarities with the other lanthanides 13 lanthanides element so it's kept over in the lanthanide series now let us see our 4f of, for the cerium the atomic number is 58 so configuration will be 4f1 5d1 6s2 xenon 4f1 5d1 6s2 or sometimes in the internet or in other books you can see the configuration as 4f2 5d0 6s2 both are applicable then next configuration of the praseodymium the atomic number is 59 the configuration is 4f3 5d0 6s2 next element is neodymium nd the configuration is xenon 4f4 5d0 6s2 next is our promethium 61 so you can write 4f5 6 5d0 6s2 next element our europium atomic number is 63 symbol eu the configuration is 4f7 5d0 6s2 next is our 64 gadolinium gd xenon 4f7 5d1 and 6s2 student you can just observe this is the 4f7 means what does the seven number we all know that our half filled configuration has already reached here so the gadolinium and our europium 4f7 means they are having the half filled subshell as the capacity of the f subshell is 14 so it is half filled means our europium and gadolinium will have the extra stability here so terbium 4f9 5d0 6s2 then dysprosium dy symbol xenon and the atomic number is our 66 and the configuration is xenon 4f10 5d0 6s2 then holmium 67 h o the symbol xenon 4f11 5d0 6s2 then 68 erbium symbol is er xenon 4f12 5d0 6s2 then our thulium atomic number 69 and the symbol is tm xenon 4f13 5d0 6s2 and yttrium atomic number 
Y V is the symbol. Xenon 4F14 5D 6S2. So you can notice here also ytterbium is having the fulfill 4F subshell. So this will be also extra-stable. And our last 71 lutetium symbol LU. The configuration is Xenon 4F14 5D1 6S2. So students, uh, you can see the trend in the electronic configuration that in the lanthanum, the atomic number is our 57. It will have 4F0, 5D1, 6S2. Means you can see the D subshells are only in, filled in the case of lanthanum, cerium, then your gadolinium and in last your our lutetium. Otherwise, you will have the same configuration 5D0, 5D0 and 6S2 in this series. So it is not very much tough. Just go through once. You will have the 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 9, 10, 11, 13, 12, 13, 14, 14. So in this manner, you can learn in an easy way because there are many questions which will be asked uh, from the electronic configuration similarly we can also discuss the oxidation states in the short i will tell you in the details we will discuss in the next video so just to see the our oxidation state the stable and the common oxidation state of the lanthanide is our plus three so most of the elements are having plus three plus four plus two configuration uh, oxidation states you can see from the beginning so the lanthanum is having the plus 3 oxidation state. Cerium is having our plus 3 plus 4. Prosodymium is having our plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 oxidation state. Our neodymium is having the uh, oxidation state plus 3. Next element, our promethium is having the oxidation state as plus 2 plus 3. Sum uh, samarium is having the oxidation state plus 2 plus 3. Our europium is also having plus 2 plus 3. Then gadolinium is having the oxidation state as plus 3. So we can easily understand now if it will give the 3 electrons. So it will have the extra stability gadolinium because it is half shelled. So then our terbium is having the oxidation state of plus 3 plus 4. Then dysprosium is also having oxidation state of plus 3 plus 4 holomium is having the oxidation state of plus 3 erbium is having the oxidation state of the plus 3 then thulium is having oxidation state of plus 2 plus 3 then our ytterbium is having the oxidation state of plus 2 and some cases also plus 3 and lutetium is having the oxidation state of plus 3 because if it will donate the 3 electrons it will have the plus 3 oxidation state and it will have a stable configuration. So you can take the screenshot and you can write in the notes. This is a very important question directly asked write the electronic configuration of the lanthanide series. So you can just learn it by heart and general configuration also you should learn that is N-2F. 0 to 14 and minus 1 d 0 to 1 and n is 2 uh, sometimes they are asking questions what are the lanthanides why they are called inner transition elements so you just take the screenshot of this page and uh, so you can write it easily so the, the 15 elements from lanthanum to lutetium are called as our lanthanides or the rare earth elements and we know that the first electron starts filling in the series from cerium as you have seen the electronic configuration so there will be some uh, questions from the electronic configuration also i will cover in the next video you can take the screenshot of this page and i hope uh, this uh, video is easily understandable to you all if you are having any doubts you can ask me in my email or you can text me personally thanks for watching my video next video will be uploaded soon if you have not subscribed my channel do subscribe my channel and share with your classmates and friends